So today's video is not a watching the world burn video. I just wanted to get into uh, an upcoming event that if you watch my videos, obviously you uh, care about the uh, United States. You're probably not a Democrat <laughs> who, who hate the United States. But uh, I wanted to tell you about, uh, I'm a member and I, I have no representation for this organization. Um, and I uh, don't take anything. So I decided to read what they have to say about themselves rather than me telling you about our country, our choice. Our country, our choice. Uh, you can find it on the internet. And I, so I'll just read you what they have to say. Uh, our country, our choice was established by a group of ordinary American citizens who refused to stand idly by as our nation declines. Most of us are parents and many of us hold strong Christian values. Well, if you align with that, and then I'll just continue to read. We share a deep love of our country and its remarkable people. Our unwavering commitment is to secure a brighter future for all Americans' children, ensuring that they have the same opportunities that we have cherished. Our decision to establish a for-profit media company is rooted in our desire for independence and the avoidance of external influence or control. Our media and movement exists solely to serve the interest of the American people. Imagine that. American first. Hmm. A cause that resides deeply in our hearts. Currently, all our funding comes from our founding members. We do not have vast financial resources, and much of our work is carried out by volunteers. Uh, I consider myself one of those volunteers, and I will be trying to do as much as I can. Nonetheless, we believe that the American people unite in large numbers. We can reverse the decline and restore American greatness. So in search for leadership, we sought a CEO whose values transcend monetary influence, and that is Colonel Douglas McGregor, who I had the privilege of a few days ago talking to on the phone. And I, I don't know, I, I was just so shocked to be talking to Colonel Douglas McGregor. I might have said some things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I do want to help uh, our country, our choice, as best I can. And that's why I'm making this video. So I wanted to let you know, if you join up as a member, uh, it says, uh, Our nation faces pivotal challenges. We are excited to announce the launch of an exclusive streaming video sessions designed exclusively for our members. These interactive sessions are scheduled for Wednesday, January 24, 2024, session times uh, at 2 p.m., and at 8 p.m. Please be aware these sessions are reserved solely for our members, so you will have to join up as a member. I'm not sure. I, uh, you know, it's a, there's limited resources, uh, so whether you can become a member by the 24th, I don't know, but I'm just letting you know that this event's taking place. Now, I did try to contact them. There was an email address uh, where I, it says uh, livestream at ourcountryyourchoice.com. That's, uh, if you want to email that, live stream at ourcountryourchoice.com. And then it says, include the following information, a brief introduction about yourself, your preference for either being called or participating in a video call, any questions you would like to pose during the session. Well, I just told him I'd like to talk about cybersecurity. I never heard anything back. Maybe I'll hear something back tomorrow. I kind of doubt it. You know, I'm just a nobody that gets 30 people to watch my videos, <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. I like it that way. Uh, but, you know, so I, I did want to get into that just a little bit. And we're going to talk in this video cybersecurity because this is the one uh, skill that I take uh, that I can contribute to our country, our choice. And we're going to get into that. But I did want to get slightly into the news because uh, I'm not even sure they're listening to me at this point. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them if they didn't. But I did want to get into my bookmarks. Uh, let's get in here. All bookmarks. So the first one uh, was Washington admitted that the U.S. nuclear weapons are dangerously outdated. Now I did a video a couple days ago on the nuclear triad and how I felt that now our submarines are vulnerable underneath the ocean. Uh, that's the third leg of the triad that, it, that used to be considered invulnerable. And uh, if you want to watch that video, go back and watch it. This is what the chairman of U.S. House Armed Services Committee, Roger Wicker, no idea who this, and, Sub and Senator Deborah Fitcher think. America's nuclear weapons are, are 
Dangerously outdated. Our security depends on funding and timely deployment of the Sentinel ICBM. I guess this is a new ICBM that we've been developing. Critical upgrades to our arsenal are unfunded and behind schedule. Congress and the White House must act quickly to solve these problems and prevent new ones from arising. The U.S. nuclear triad. Isn't it funny that I just did a video on this two days ago? I, <laughs> just, just, I find these things. I'm like, oh, I'll be damned. I was just talking about this. You know, I mean, it's kind of like. Holy shit! Wait, what am I psychic? Maybe I've I've got premonitions, or I, uh, you know, I, I don't know where God's coming down, beating stuff in it. The uh, LGM thirty G Minuteman three silo based ICBMs. They have been on duty since the nineteen seventies, and that's what I was telling you about our land based ICBMs that they're very vulnerable. Each of them is fifty years old. In addition, the Minuteman three rocket engines themselves will be obsolete by twenty twenty nine. Well. Probably obsolete now. <laughs> I just don't want to say it. Uh, and without their re-equipment, and this is as the Russians. I don't know if you knew, but the Russians have this new ICBM. And uh, and so the way that the, the, the missiles used to be able to come across, if you didn't understand, I'm trying to put this in layman's terms, is when Russia launched, they would come across the northern hemisphere and they could hit the United States. Well, we put all our defenses, or, or any... Uh, any missile defenses, I guess you would call it, instead of any aircraft, we put those all in the northern area because that's where we thought that the Russian missiles would be coming from. Of course, not taking into account the submarines because uh, the Russians have developed their submarine fleet uh, pretty, pretty immensely now. So now they can hit us with the submarines. But now they got these huge missiles that come across the South Pole. And come up from the south. I mean, I, they, I think they're called Satan or something. <laughs> some, some horrible name. I mean, you know. And uh, and so, anyway, just just wanted to get into that that tweet. Uh, so this is Simplicius, Simplicius the Thinker. I uh, I wonder who this guy is. You know, I I, I always just throw my name out there because I figure I ain't got long to live anyway. So I figured. I want people to know me, and, and maybe like one or two people might stand by my grave when I'm buried in a, in a military cemetery. Several people have now asked me to comment on the various strikes Ukraine is carrying out on Russia. Both pro-U and people are concerned, and pro-UA people who are dunking. Over the past week, there's been a rash of warehouses sabotaged across Russia, drone strikes on oil refineries from St. Pete to Novograd to Baransk, etc. The truth is there isn't much to comment because all of these strikes are nothing more than the desperate last gasp of a dying state lashing out in impotent rage. Ukraine's terror campaign to light a few warehouses on fire, send a few drones somewhere is, is totally ineffective, meaningless, and merely mirrors the Nazis launching V-2 rockets at London in the last year of the war. This is just a thrashing animal in its final death throes. Russia is unfathomably vast country, which is true. I mean, good God, especially now that they've annexed <laughs> the section of Ukraine where they won't be giving that back. Uh, three or four rails burned down, doesn't even register on the local news. It's certainly nothing compared to the incalculable economic damage Ukraine incurs on a daily basis. So then uh, Kim Everson, uh, and this is what I, I, isn't it funny, I just did a video on this, that the United States is the evil empire. And then she comes out and says, my country is an evil empire. Are these people reading my uh, ex posts and then just mimicking me? I, I don't know, man, you tell me. <laughs> but it just seems like every time I'm reading through X, I'm going like, well, I just said that a couple of days ago. Maybe I'm just not, you know, getting any credit for what I'm doing. I don't know. White House spokesman John Kirby says, we don't believe a ceasefire is going to be to the benefit of anybody but Hamas. Two million displaced Palestinians and 100 plus Israeli hostages couldn't be reached for comment as to whether they would benefit from a ceasefire. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good post by Kim Everson. Uh, then this, is a, this was OSINT Defender. Uh, I think this is a government... Uh, shrill but i think they always post good stuff if you want to always read everything you know i mean you never know what you're going to find the mim-104 patriot surface to air missile battery at al-assad air base in western iraq was reportedly overwhelmed today 
by the rocket and ballistic military attack by Iran-backed forces. Uh, it's always Iranian-backed forces. <laughs> yeah, Iran, Iran gives them weapons, but they act on their own, man. I mean, Iran has nothing to do with what these people do with the weapons. I mean, you know, but it's just like we arm Ukraine. We got nothing to do. Or Ukraine is using our weapons. They just bombed the Donetsk. I talked about that in yesterday's video and killed a bunch of civilians. So are we responsible? Or is it a U.S.-backed Ukraine that bombed Donetsk? That would be kind of how the news should report it, right? Don't you think? Because this is Iran-backed uh, uh, groups that just attacked the base. But okay, just, just giving you the media spin on how they do all of this. Overwhelmed today by the rocket and ballistic missile attack, Iran-backed forces with the battery claimed to have launched at least 15 of its Pac-2 missiles resulted in several interceptions. And I, uh, okay, then so we get into other things. I, I wanted to talk about cybersecurity for a moment. And this is for uh, our country, our choice. I hope that they watch this video. I'll certainly send it to them. I don't, I don't know if they will. But the first thing that I wanted to say was, uh, right now silver dropped immensely uh, in price. Uh, let's get that up on, on the phone here. I, my God, I, I, I never thought, and that's the way you got to look at it. A lot of people, when I hear them on the uh, TV and on radio and they say, uh, gold, uh, lira, uh, lira investments, gold and silver are not an investment. They're just a placeholder of value, okay? It's just a place to put dollars that are devaluing. And if you really believe what I believe is that we're facing a crisis, a financial crisis, it's just a place to park your money until the, 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 the stuff hits the fan and then you, you've got some wealth to go out and be able to buy groceries for a while until the the dust settles and a whole new monetary system is established it might take months it might take years you don't know and hopefully you're like i am stocked up on food and stocked up i mean i buy everything you know i what was the latest thing today i thought oh yeah i might buy some more soap i got I got enough toilet paper to last me six months, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, but I, I can't because I use a lot of soap. Uh, because I have to, you know, do the thing, the thing, as, as Joe Biden likes to say. But right now, uh, Silver Zone parked at twenty two twenty six, and uh, they got the Canadian Maple Leafs, which I just made another purchase, and I don't normally do this. I don't, I don't buy. I mean, I don't have the money, man. I'm just trying to pay down my debt, but. Geez, when you get a bargain like this, uh, the 2024 one ounce Canadian Maple Leaf is 279. Now they got they got other deals that you might want to look at, such as one ounce silver coins random design for a dollar fifty nine over spot. You don't see these prices. I've seen uh, spot, especially with the Silver Eagles, not too not too long ago. I mean, they were selling nine thirteen dollars over spot. So these are good prices if you want to just. Park some money on the side as you should. I mean, I'm just encouraging you to do it. But let's get into uh, cybersecurity for just one second. And I'm going to put the links. You're going to want to look in the description on this video below. Uh, because the first thing is I want to tell you about Signal. Okay, so everybody wants to use the, the phone app that comes with Samsung or comes with Google Understand, every conversation, every word you say is recorded by the three-letter agencies. And I was going to name them out, mainly the, the N one. And, uh, but no, you, you know, there's, there, there are alternatives. Uh, and, and I'm going to be doing more and more on this in the videos. Uh, but the one that Elon Musk, which take that with a grain of salt, he recommended is Signal. And by the way, it uses Wi-Fi. So you don't even have, you could actually have a phone, which I do. Uh, and as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, I can make phone calls as long as the other person has signal. So it's kind of like voice over IP, right? So I, so now you don't have to, you don't even have to pay. Like I pay Google Fi. That's who I use as my, my provider. But you could, you could actually make phone calls to all your friends, all your buddies and everything. It's all encrypted uh, for free using signal. And I just say signal. That's kind of the most popular one. Now, is it broken? Yes, it's broken. We already know that for sure. Okay, it's broken by the three-letter agencies. Is it broken by corporations? Is it broken by other governments? We don't know for sure, but I tell you what, it's a hell of a lot more secure. And the nice thing is when you send text messages, you can put actually a deadline. 
So it'd be just like, remember when Hillary Clinton went in and bleach bit all her hair? <laughs> a lot of people don't know what bleach bit is. Maybe I'll get into that in a future video. But she erased all her hard drives and then they pounded, you know, nails through them and, uh, and, and everything. Well, no, with, with Signal, it'll actually delete your text messages. You can say, okay, if they don't, you know, after they've read it, after one week, it gets deleted. So guess what? The F people come into your house and they get your cell phone and they want to look at all your text messages, well, guess what? If it's if you're using Signal, they're all gone. They're not going to be able to get them. Now, have they got a database at the end? I'm trying to not say the three letters because I'm sure it just flags the video right up on the screen. But uh, so at the end, yeah, they probably have it in a database somewhere. But do you think that, you know, those technicians, unless you're like Al Capone or Donald Trump, you know, it's gonna it's gonna take a, a big person to say we want this guy's text messages on Signal. So you're pretty dug on safe using it uh, for everything. Uh, the other thing is I'm gonna put you a virtual box. All right, I've, a lot of people don't understand, and that's why I'm making this for uh, for our country, our choice. Virtual box is a virtual operating system that operates on top of uh, like Windows. You could also run it on top of Linux. Uh, uh, but anyway, it, what it is, it's an operating system over top of an operating system. And then you can install uh, Linux operating systems into VirtualBox. Now, I, I tried it the other day. And boy, I tell you, my book, it was written back in 2016. And I had step-by-step -step directions on how to install. Like I always like Linux Mint. And that's uh, out of uh, Japan as, as my favorite operating system. And you can install that, and then what you can do is use that as a play box, and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So that's going to be the first link. I, I, I encourage you to play with VirtualBox and maybe some Linux operating systems, and I, I'll be putting out some notes on this stuff to our country, our choice. You're only going to find it there. I'm not going to be putting it out uh, to because I'm trying to help them. Uh, the next thing is the torproject.org, T-O-R-P-R-O-J-E-C-T, torproject.org. Uh, that is a... Um, uh, an encrypted, well, not an encrypted, but it's a, uh, it's, I don't know what you would call an obfuscation. In other words, when you go out to surf a website, it goes to a server. That server routes your, your traffic to another server, and that server routes it to the end server, which could be, and these servers are located all over the world. So even if the end is trying to track you, they're not going to know where the hell it's coming from. But now, can they track it back if they really want to? Oh, hell yeah. But you got to be huge on the radar. You got to be Donald Trump. That's what I'm telling you. So if you're just a nobody, I mean, I doubt that they're, they're going to want to put their resources into finding where you're surfing on the Internet. Now, why would you use something like that? Well, let's say you're a gun fanatic, right? And you just love researching guns, you know, and uh, you don't think that the F. I'm just giving you the first letter now that the F wants to know people out there that are gun fanatics that are researching guns. So if you use the Tor project, it's a, it's a downloadable browser, literally. And, you, and it's very easy. You just download it and stick it on your computer. And then you can go out and research things that interest you. Now, they call that the dark web, you know, like, and pedophiles, I imagine, do use it. But I mean, my God, the Democrats, they're all for uh, all the sex trafficking and all the everything else. I mean, we we got so much uh, illegal uh, sexual activity taking place with kids and, and prostitutes in the United States. We we might as well be a brothel, <laughs> the whole damn country. Because that, and of course, in, in slavery, we've got that's what the Democrats want in the United States. So you know what the hell? There's there's so many people out there that are using Tor probably for illicit means. I mean, you using it for just research some guns is. is is low on the radar, you know? I mean, uh, um, well, I mean, come on. The F, they don't give a crap about child trafficking. They don't give a crap about uh, women being raped and, and, and put in brothels. Uh, if they did, they'd be stopping the border crisis, but they, they don't care about that. So uh, so that's the next thing, torproject.org. Uh, the, the next thing I wanted to throw out, so we've talked about Signal. We've talked about Tor Project. We've talked about VirtualBox. And then uh, the last thing is you need to uh, it, you find an encrypted uh, mail place. Now, the, the problem is, I understand, you're not going to be able to get your friends to use this stuff because they don't see the need. They're like, oh, well, you know, as long as I just stick my head in the sand and you know, I don't do anything wrong, they're never going to come after me. Well, what they don't understand is 
You don't know what's wrong. The Proud Boys, they thought they were doing nothing wrong. Look at them. They're, some of them are rotting in a jail below the Capitol Hill just for being in, in the Proud Boys. And how did they get them? Text messages. Everything. They, they stole all their phones. And, and if they had been somewhat cyber secure aware, they might not have been ended up in jail. The Oath Takers, or I think that was the other organization, the Oath Takers, they're rotting in a jail. So I, my concern is for you and for our country, our choice. Because as the organization grows, our country, our choice, more and more you're going to come up on the three-letter agency radar, and you better start thinking about encrypting your communications. So, Proton Mail. Proton Mail, just do a search on it. It's out of Switzerland. Now, is Switzerland compromised? Yes, they are. They used to be the go-to place uh, for, for encrypted email. Now, there's other encrypted email services that you can use. The journalists used to use Rise Up, uh, but that, for whatever reason, when I tried to use it, uh, they, they, they rejected me. <laughs> you got to get accepted on that. And I wouldn't trust it anymore. I mean, the journalists are compromised. I mean, do you trust MSDNC or ABC or CBS? I certainly don't. But uh, so Proton Mail is the one that I use. Um, there's, there's some others. You can also use proxies. If you want to do some research on proxies, you can go out on YouTube and just say, how do I use a proxy to encrypt my communications? And then we'll get into GNUPG, GNUPG. And I'm going to put all these links in the description. I forgot one thing. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for God knows how long. But we're coming up towards the end of January. And I haven't done my predictions for 2024. And I did not do because I was in the hospital with a broken neck. Uh, and 2023 was a very rough year for me, uh, trying to recover. By the way, somebody asked me about physical therapy. Yes, yes, I did get physical therapy for a number of months uh, once I got out of the hospital. It helped quite a bit, but eventually you just peek out and it, 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 it doesn't help anymore. And now, am I considering alternate therapies uh, like QC Kinetics or... Uh, uh, there's been some other recommended. Yeah, these things, I've pretty much got my house. I'm settled in here in Florida, and I will be starting to look into treatments for my arthritis in my neck so that I can get feeling back in my hands and my feet. Uh, so, yeah, appreciate that comment. So, my predictions for 2022, we can go back there, was I said $6 a gallon for gas. Well, okay, I was wrong, but I'd never thought that the Democrats would raid the strategic oil reserve and drain it down to nothing. And I never thought the Pentagon would allow the Democrats to drain the strategic oil reserve down to nothing. So who could have guessed that? I mean, I would have, I, 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 for sure I thought the military would say, oh, hell no, that's for strategic purposes. You're not allowed to drain that. And, and they just went, well, I guess there's 44 generals that Colonel Douglas McGregor talks about just went right along with it. So then I said a market crash by at least 50 to 80 percent. Wow, we're hitting record highs. So I was wrong there. So I, you know, I want to tell you that, um, you know, I, I let you know, but do I think, uh, well, well, we'll talk about the 2024 predictions. I think a lot of these are, are coming up now. Housing market crash as interest rates rise. Yes, we're seeing that now. Uh, interest rates have gone up. Uh, we're seeing the commercial real estate market crash and we're seeing the real estate, but this was 2022. So I was wrong in 2022. Now I'm right in 2024. Ah, this was a good one. Russia will invade Ukraine. Talk about their plan meaningless, and meaningless sanctions. Well, I guess that, that was spot on. <laughs> that was before they invaded. And I said the sanctions would be meaningless. Boy, I was a prophet on that one, wasn't I? Holy moly. Uh, I did say China would invade Taiwan. Uh, that was in 2022, and we're in 2024. I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little bit wiser now, you know, as you go on in life. I said, we'll see massive inflation, perhaps hyperinflation. hyperinflation. Democrats will try to raise taxes. Massive spending by Democrats also causing inflation. Well, that was spot on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, have you seen your grocery bills? I mean, recently. I mean, my God. That, and do you think gas prices are going to stay down very much longer? I don't think so. Uh, commodity prices soaring. Uh, well, we yes and no. Uh, this was 2022, uh, and yeah, I mean, gold. Good Lord, even back then it was. I think it was selling for like 1,400 or 1,200 dollars, and now we're at over 2,000. 
So, I mean, do you want to call that soaring? That's pretty pretty soaring to me. Now, silver's still a good buy. Back then, I think it was about 19 or 18. And now it's at, well, I just showed you the price, 22. We will see crime spike across the United States, especially in the cities. Wow, I guess that was spot on. <laughs> Man, this, this will all erupt as criminals pour across the border. Uh, and, well, and this is for 2024, I guess. Taliban and Iran hit squads. Uh, we'll see a major ter terrorist incident do the open border. I said that in 2022, and we did not. So I guess I was wrong there, but we, it's coming. Uh, there will not be a 2022 election due to terror across the nation. So I was wrong there. We had the election. I just didn't realize that it would be a corrupt election. <laughs> I mean, so, <laughs> so, I mean, well, if you think about it, we really didn't have an election, did we? The candidate got selected, in my opinion. So um, supply chain will continue to deteriorate. Truckers protesting gas prices. And yeah, that, that was true. That's spot on. We will see the end of the dollar as the reserve currency. Now, that was obviously wrong. That was 2022. Then it didn't happen in 2023. Is it going to happen in 2024? I don't know. We're going to put together a 2024 prediction. Car prices will continue to soar. Well, that was spot on. <laughs> Look at car prices, if you don't believe me. And then uh, Biden Fauci will continue to promote the vaccine, the jab, even after the CC virus, virus has abated. Have you seen, I mean... Everywhere I go, I still see the signs. The jab is available. The jab is available. I mean, uh, if you want to get it, if you're a Democrat, get the jab, get the booster to your booster to your booster to your booster to your booster. Be sure and do that if you're a Democrat because uh, it doesn't look like it's too good for you. And uh, they will also try to try to divide the country between vaxxed and unvaxxed. That was spot on, wasn't it? Holy moly, that's back in 2022. And then I said herd immunity will be achieved, and we did. Uh, there's no more virus around. So I got my 2024 predictions coming. I'm going to put a, a, another link in this uh, video. Uh, there's this guy named Billy, and uh, he's got all his predictions, and I've been kind of reading his to see where I line. But, boy, I tell you, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's wild reading, man. He's supposed to be talking to aliens, and they have these intellectual conversations, and I'm just like, Phew. I get I get sleepy-eyed trying to read it all. But uh, anyway, maybe we'll get into contrasting his predictions against mine. Peace out.